<laughs> yep, we're back here again. Chinese food at the Cody Inn. So what the heck are we doing back at the Cody Inn again? How many times I got to keep bringing you guys here? It is uh, middle of the week and Paul, don't you ever work? Yes, I do work, I do work, I do work. And there's stuff that's happening at the job site right now as we speak so that we can get away on our summer holidays, which are coming up very, very shortly. Um, so Anchor Girl, she had a hankering for Chinese food, so sure, why not? Go for a little mini road trip this afternoon, come out here and grab a couple of meals, which will be good. And we're looking forward to that. And since we are down here, I'm just gonna take a look down at the lock, because yes, we are right next to beautiful Lock 31 of the Trent Severn Waterway, Buckhorn. A uh, place that I can almost certainly say that we won't get to this year, but that depends. And that depends on well, what I'm going to show you right now, what we're going to look at together. So let's go have a look down at the lock, check it out. So again, as I've shown you in the past, the lock is immediately across the road from the Cody Inn, home of uh, world famous, beautiful, great, super yummy Chinese food. So I'm just going to poke my head around here and just check out the conditions. So the thing that I wanted to look at was not actually the lock itself, but the water control dam, which is immediately to the south side of the, of the lock. And the reason I'm looking at that is because, as I've mentioned, we've had a ton of rain over the last couple of weeks. Last night, there was so much rain uh, that the water level at our marina probably rose about three inches, I'm gonna say, it, it's just, it's crazy. So what I'm looking at is the outflow here because as I'm talking, just a few minutes ago, I received an email notification from Parks Canada regarding the outflows. And they're actually warning that you shouldn't be boating on the system beyond the navigation hours, which are, let's say nine till five during the week, I think. Well, as you just saw there, there is tons of water, literally tons of water. There's so much water, as I was gonna say, uh, coming through the system that they have to, they have to keep moving along, otherwise the water's gonna breach over the, uh, the locks. And so the recommendation is that one does not use their boat outside of the navigation hours because they will be releasing even more water, which is gonna be uh, unsafe for navigation. So this is, was the second reason that we were coming down, or not the second reason we were coming, but one of the reasons I wanted to check this out. I was interested to see how it's flowing. Um, and that that's definitely gonna have an impact on our uh, cruise, which we're starting next week in a few days. Um, on the Severn system, the water level is so bad the outflow was so bad, and this was already last week, that at lock 45, 
the water coming out of the dam is actually broaching over the gray wall and the blue line where one is supposed to come in and tie up if you're going through the locks and uh, people reportedly are <laughs> just shooting right through to the lock once the gates open because there's nowhere to tie up and it's just insane the amount of water and as I mentioned we get a, a, a buttload of water last night so that's only going to make things worse and more challenging so right now our plan is to leave our home port in a few days as I mentioned and carry on and as I would say we'll get to where we get to when we get there um, just not sure how far we're gonna be able to go we don't know so I hope the wind noise isn't so bad and I hope also that you guys will uh, follow along and see where we get to in the meantime I got a couple other videos I'm gonna be sharing with you before we actually depart so I hope you're gonna be eager to find out where we get to and how the conditions are I'm definitely gonna keep you updated as we move forward so from a beautiful lock 31 of the Trent Severn waterway at Buckhorn Ontario I will see you soon my friends cheers <laughs>